in this tutorial you will learn how to make petrol enemy as you can see the enemy will just go left and right okay it will just lay around with this ground once it gets near of the edge it will flip itself so we will make uh, this enemy petrol enemy so without furthering delay let's uh, dive into this topic let's quickly create the petrol enemy so i have the assets over here i will have link in the description of this sprite uh, anime sprite you can go ahead and check that out so select the sprite sheet click on sprite editor okay and we can see there are multiple sprites so we just need to cut off individually to do so select sprite mode to multiple in inspector and choose pixel per unit to a less number so let's choose 16 and to get rid of blurry we need to select filter mode to point of filter and after doing all of this uh, thing click on hit apply okay click on apply now uh, as you can see the blurry has gone as well as uh, we need to, uh, we are able to cut off individually you can see in the top left slide so click on that and select automatic to grid by cell count and count how many columns and rows it has so it has as you can see it has six columns and one row so we will put six column and one row six columns and one row and after doing that click on slice and click on apply in the right so it's cut it off individually so let's choose game view one more time uh, so select uh, click on this arrow and select the first one i'm gonna drag it to scene view like this as you can see okay as you can see over here i'm gonna flip towards uh, this enemy okay uh, uh, towards player to do so go to a sprite renderer of this enemy game object and flip horizontally or check this x1 okay now it's flipped and i'm gonna rename this dude monster uh, works to patrol enemy okay patrol enemy and let's add some component to this game object or a patrol enemy game object okay firstly the obvious one we're gonna add a rigid body 2d component which will add up gravity and the second thing we will add box collider 2d or any collider 2d okay uh, for just collision detection okay so uh, click on add component let's find the first one rigid body 2d for gravity and move to rigid body a 2d and uh, freeze the rotation about z axis if you don't do this it will flip like this if we just play around with rotation about z axis so as you can notice that the it will be weird so let's set it back to zero and freeze the rotation about z axis and choose collision detection to continuous so it continuously detect the collision okay now it's fine um, i'm gonna scale up the gravity a little bit up so i'm gonna set it to three and let's add a box collider 2d uh, for this uh, petrol enemy so it will just uh, land top of our ground so hit this add component and find over there box collider 2d okay and edit the collider as the size of add, uh, sprite so click on edit collider and make the collider as the size of sprite okay so now it's fine it's fine okay now it's fine so what we want to do we want to create a point from here and we will shoot out uh, a ray from that point and if that ray collide with nothing okay if that ray collide with no background oh sorry no ground then is we should we will flip the uh, and a petrol enemy to the uh, right side okay basically we want to move uh, first okay we just want to move it first so um, what instead i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go over to spread and enter one more time and i'm gonna check uncheck this x uh, just we're gonna leave it as it is okay basically we want to create a point and from that point we will shoot out a ray and if that ray is not not collide with this ground so over here we can able to see or uh, this uh, that ray will not collide with this ground so we want to flip this enemy before we need to move this enemy left and right so let's move it so uh, create a separate script for this petrol enemy game object to do so uh, move to assets right click create shushab script name it to petrol enemy or something like that and uh, so that uh, select that that uh, sorry select that script okay select that script and select this petrol enemy game object and drag that petrol enemy script uh, script to a petrol enemy game object to add component section okay attach that and double click that to open up in visual studio uh, so we firstly want to move this 
uh, enemy so we, let's remove these two name spaces in the top we donated for now and uh, uh, two we will use this update function we know this update function get call every single frame and we need to just move our enemy uh, to the right side or left side every single frame okay so if we move to a unity okay if we go to unity and select the patrol enemy game object then transform then position and if we play around with its position we can able to see the enemy just going left and right if we play around with this position firstly we need to head over to transform then position okay uh, so what we will do i'm gonna set over here okay now if i go uh, over to script one more time so firstly we need to go to transform means uh, means this transform we going to and we will use this translate function okay a uh, translate function and make this first bracket so translate function over here will take the direction in which direction you want to go so in this situation we want to go to the right direction okay uh, to the right direction uh, to right direction so what we will do we will use this vector two dot right okay vector two dot right it's basically means one in the x okay one in the x one in the x y in the zero so we uh, the enemy will not move in the y axis it will just move in the uh, x axis in the positive direction as you can see vector two dot right means one in the x okay x in the one y in the zero and what we will do uh, we will multiply this with some uh, speed okay to move our enemy flawlessly a little bit faster okay so let's multiply with uh, some number so let's multiply with uh, 2f or let's suppose 1f or 1.2f i guess uh, instead of hard coding this let's make a variable for uh, this speed okay so let's go to top of our class and make it public so we can just set through inspector that will be float and we let's call it something like uh, speed and by default i am going to set the speed 1.2 sorry 1.2 f and close that off with semicolon let's replace this uh, 1.2 f by this speed okay and we also need to multiply this with time dot delta time to make frame rate independent so let's multiply that time dot delta time and close that off with semicolon so we using this transform dot translate function and this function will take the direction in which direction you want to go so in in our case we use vector 2 dot right means uh, in the right direction it means x in the 1 y in the 0 and we multiply with that speed okay so uh, x in the 1 so this will be 1 so so x in the 1 so 1 into 1.25 we can see over here so the uh, x position over here will be 1.25 in the right okay right so it will do it update function so it will run out every single frame so it will go over to the right direction every single frame okay so control s to save your code let's go to uh, go to unity and see the result okay let's go to unity and see the result what's happening i'm gonna move this uh, enemy uh, patrol enemy a little bit further away from the ground of edge of the ground okay so just uh, to see the result what's really actually happening okay so just wait for to compile when it's done uh, see the result what's happening So just wait for to compile it will take a few moment and once it's done i'm gonna move this enemy a little bit further away over here and hit this play button we can able to see uh, we will able to see that enemy uh, will move to the right direction by that amount of speed which is 1.2 uh, 1.2 as you can see it just goes to the right direction so uh, if the uh, enemy over here in the edge okay so we will create a point over here and from that point we will we will shoot out a ray and if that ray is not colliding with this crown over here so we want we're gonna flip this enemy to the left side okay so in this case over here at the edge of crown uh, the ray will not collide anymore okay so we will flip the character before we have to create the ray array okay so let's open up our patrol enemy script one more time and uh, let's go to update function okay let's go to down 
and we will use this physics 2d okay physics 2d dot raycast function uh, raycast function physics 2d dot raycast function over here as a first piece of data it will take the point from where you want to shoot out that ray okay uh, so we will create a, uh, a point and from that point we will shoot out a ray and the second thing it will take the direction in which direction you want to shoot out that so in our case in the down direction and the third uh, third argument it will take the length of the ray okay uh, how much length you want to have uh, the ray okay and the fourth argument it will take the layer mask basically means which layer we want to target in our case we just only want to target this ground layer so we need to assign this ground as a ground layer before that uh, let's make a comment for this now uh, let's assign those variable first to create our ray so let's go to top of our class uh, firstly we need the obvious one so let's create public transform uh, transform uh, okay for attack uh, sorry shoot ray point let's call it ray point or checkpoint you can say ray point and the second thing we need to make all of them public field oh, okay so we can uh, adjust from inspector as uh, and the th third piece of data it will take the uh, length of the ray so let's call it distance okay by default i am going to set it to 1f and the third uh, fourth piece of data it will take the layer mask which layer we want to lay target okay let's make a, another public uh, layer field okay sorry layer mask and let's call it target layer target layer or detect layer target layer okay close that off with semicolon let's go to unity and and uh, we need to assign those variable first okay firstly the obvious one we have assigned it a, a shoot point or ray point so we need to create a ray point uh, underneath of our player game object so just wait for to compile when it's done create a ray point and from that point we will shoot out our ray and if the ray is really co not colliding with our ground layer and we should flip our enemy to the uh, left direction okay so just wait for to compile when it's done so uh, so i'm gonna drag this patrol enemy top of hierarchy so we can able to see so right click on patrol enemy and create an empty child game object and let's uh, select the, this over here move tool i'm gonna move it over here uh, let's choose an icon for it go to inspector let's choose this yellow one over here so we will shoot out the ray from this point okay and let's call this game object to a ray point or detect point let's call it ray point instead uh, instead and select the patrol enemy game object let's drag the ray point uh, game object or point to ray point field and we need to we have chosen distance by one you can adjust from how, uh, over here that is the reason of making it public okay public field and choose target layer ground okay firstly we need to assign our this ground as a ground layer so i i have to go to ground uh, great then over here ground we can see so let's assign this so select the ground first go to inspector in the top right corner you can see layer so click on that and hit this add layer and let's create a, another layer for our ground so let's call it ground and save it hit enter let's go again to that game object one more time and assign that layer okay default to ground now we assign it our ground as a ground uh, ground layer okay so i'm gonna go over to patrol enemy game object one more time as a target layer let's assign our this ground layer now the ray will all only check for our ground layer okay so let's open up our script one more time and let's remove these two uh, slashes so as a first piece of data it will take the position so let's pass our ray point we assign it ray point dot position we have to pass and the second thing it will take the direction so we just want to go to town uh, okay for we want to shoot out the ray in the down direction so we have to use this vector 2 dot down uh, vector 2 dot down it's basically means uh, 0 in the x okay y in the minus 1 okay so basically oh, minus 1 in the y okay you can say and the second thing it will take the distance means the length of the ray so let's pass our distance by default we have chosen one and the fourth piece of data it will take the layer mask so let's pass our target layer as a target layer we assign it 
ground layer okay so, and close that off with semicolon so this function will return us true or false depending upon if the ray is really colliding with this ground or not okay if the ray is really colliding with this ground so it will return us true else uh, the ray, if it's not colliding with the ground over here it will not so it will return us false so let's restore the result into a raycast hit 2d variable okay so let's restore the result so raycast hit 2d let's call it hit or hit or hit info let's set equal to this so hit this hit over here can be true or false uh, okay uh, if the ray is really colliding with the ground layer so it will return us true so the hit over here will be true else it will be false okay and we can extract info like name of the game object whatever the ray is colliding with okay uh, tag of that game object anything we can so let's go to down and we will check if hit okay if hit is equals equals false okay equals equals false and make this curly brackets it is equals equals false means the array is not colliding with our ground layer so over here it will be happen so what we want to do in that situation we want to flip our patrol enemy game object before that let's uh, print out a message something like so we have to type debug.log let's say flip enemy okay flip enemy and close that off with semicolon control s to save your code let's go to unity and uh, and we gonna able to see once the uh, once uh, that a is not colliding with our ground layer uh, the message will pop out instantly in the console says uh, flip enemy okay flip enemy so just wait for to compile and you gonna able to see that okay but uh, but the problem is that uh, we are not able to see our ray you can see that okay uh, to see the ray or to draw the ray we have to use another function so let's go to script one more time and go to bottom of the uh, patrol enemy script and we have to use this on draw is most selected okay uh, void on draw is most selected make the spelling correct or else it will not work okay uh, make the function name as it is i have over here i have done over here okay so we will draw the uh, to draw the ray we have to use this gizmos dot okay gizmos dot draw ray okay draw ray and over uh, this uh, this will take as a first argument the uh, point from where you want to uh, create the ray so let's pass our uh, ray point uh, ray point dot position and the second thing it will take the direction okay uh, direction so we want to do it down direction so let's pass vector 2 dot down and let's multiply this direction of uh, with our length of the ray okay means distance so we will able to see our uh, ray okay so let's multiply with our distance and close that off with semicolon but this will give us an error because if you haven't dragged this attack uh, ray point to ray point field okay uh, this function will still try to find that ray point position and it will draw the ray this function will uh, try to find that ray point and it will try to draw our ray but we know if you haven't assigned it means this array point is empty uh, so uh, so this function will still try to do that but it will not uh, get that okay so that is the reason it will throw us an error so before we draw the ray let's check if we assign it or not that ray point so we have to check the if condition so let's say if ray point okay if ray point if ray point is equals equals to null null if that is the case uh, let's type return and uh, uh, a ray point uh, equals equals to null means uh, this is empty you uh, haven't assigned it yet if that is the case we typing return basically after return means this line of code will not be executed or will not gonna call so uh, this function will not try to draw the ray okay so control has to so uh, save your code let's go to unity and we're gonna able to see a row will be a ray will be draw from that ray point position and it will go to the down direction with a uh, distance or length of the ray but you can adjust the length of the ray over here distance parameter okay so that is the reason making it public so we can adjust we don't need to come over script again and again we can do it inspector instead okay uh, so we can able to see this ray as you can see okay so let, if i move this enemy over here and select the console in the bottom and hit play uh, that message will pop out once the ray is not colliding with this ground 
layer okay we saying that flip enemy or patrol flip enemy i guess so just flip enemy i guess so it will once over here it will uh, say, as you can see flip enemy gets uh, print up once the uh, once the enemy just over here at edge of the ground so we don't want to print out message instead we want to flip our character okay we want to flip our character to do so let's uh, firstly make a variable okay bool parameter it can be true or false and that we gonna call it facing right uh, okay so let's go to script one more time and go to top of our class uh, let's make a public bool it doesn't need to public you can make it private instead okay uh, i'm gonna call this one facing right and by default we're going to set it to be true because and close that off with semicolon so in this case we are looking to the right direction we can see so that is the reason for i am i just set it uh, facing right by default to be true so over here if hit is false okay if it is false so what we will do instead uh, if it is false means the uh, means the enemy patrol enemy over here so what we want to do in that case firstly we will move over to enemy transform then rotation then we will flip this to 180 in the y so we can able to see that enemy gets flipped so we need to set it to minus 180 so i'm gonna set this one back to zero as and after it once we set it to minus 180 we will no longer facing to the right direction as you can see so we will set it back to false okay we will set it to false to do so uh, let's open up our enemy script one more time okay so i'm gonna set this one back to zero so let's set it to back to zero so over here so let's go to a uh, script one more time and we will check over here so over here if it is false and facing right is true okay facing right is true and make this curly brackets uh curly bracket okay so uh, instead of doing this over here uh, you can do it okay let's do it over here so if facing right is true so firstly we will flip the character transform firstly we will go over to transform dot euler angles and we will set equal to new vector 3 and we know vector 3 has x axis y axis and the z axis so as you seen if we play around with y axis we just flipping the character to the left side so let's set is this y to minus 180 so it will flip to the left direction and let's put it 0 f in the x and 0 f in the z okay and after flipping the character we will no longer to facing to the right direction so let's set facing right to be false okay so let's facing right to be false uh, but else condition else the or uh, else the enemy if i flip this to minus 180 okay and we said facing right to be false over here uh, over here so let's move this enemy over here instead to see the result okay so uh, in, over here if the enemy goes over here so in this case we need to flip the character one more time to the normal direction okay so we need to set it back to zero okay so over here firstly oh, sorry uh, firstly the minus 180 uh, so over here it will be false okay it will be false and we looking to the left direction so we firstly need to set this one to be zero okay and we have to set facing right to be true one more time because in this situation we looking towards right direction one more one once again so let's go to script one more time and let's use this else condition so else uh, else if okay uh, else if we will check else if into brackets if facing right is false okay if facing right equals equals to false if that is the case okay if that is the case so let's copy this line of uh, line of code by control c and control v for pasting it and uh, let's set it firstly we will set it back to 0 f okay 0 f let's set it back to 0 f you should put f okay so 0 f and let's set this uh, facing right to be true one more time okay and control s to save your code let's go to unity because in this case once we over here to the left direction enemy will not detect the ray one more time okay to the ground and uh, we're just setting back to zero and after it we setting uh, facing right uh, once again to be true because in this situation we're just looking to the right direction once again okay so just wait for to compile and you're gonna able to see the enemy just will flip uh, uh, 
flip around the crown okay so if i hit this play button and see the result what's uh, really happening so just wait for to compile and you gonna able to see that so we uh, so just wait uh, you can make the speed a little bit faster so i'm gonna make it two so you can see the enemy just patrolling around the crown it just oh, oh, once it's over here at edge of the end okay to the right it's just flipping itself to minus 180 you can see on rotation okay as you can see and once it's over here it's just flipping one more time to the uh, right direction okay so that that is cool thing it's working perfectly so we also need to make the animation of uh, uh, running okay or walking to do so uh, we uh, split it up those sprites okay if i select uh, the sprite so select all of them by holding down shift okay select all of them and place it top of this patrol enemy game object not the child one make sure it so place it top of enemy okay select all of them and let's go over to asset in assets we created this animation folder so let's go over to that and uh, let's create a sub folder for our enemy so right click okay and uh, new and uh, new and folder let's call this to patrol enemy okay patrol enemy sorry patrol enemy patrol enemy underscore animation and hit enter and let's open up that subfolder and let's rename this animation new animation to patrol enemy work okay patrol enemy work or run patrol enemy underscore underscore work let's call it work instead and click on save and let's move to select the animation tab over here and hit this play button okay we can see the enemy just walking so now if i hit this play button in the top the enemy will play the walk animation and it will go to the left left and right direction once the it's once the patrol enemy gets edges of the frown it will not detect the ray and so it will flip uh, flip the character itself so i'm gonna make the speed a little bit faster you can play around with those numbers as you can see it's just flipping to the left right left right once it gets uh, edge of the uh, ground okay because the ray is not colliding and we are checking okay uh, if it's not colliding we're just flipping the character okay so i hope you get the basics idea how you can uh, make some simple patrol enemy game object i'm gonna clear the console one more time and let's make this game object prefab instead to do so uh, create a prefab folder in assets and select this patrol enemy game object drag it into that prefab folder okay now if i drag uh, delete from this in view or hierarchy this patrol enemy game object i can directly drag it from that uh, prefab folder that patrol enemy game object and if i hit this play button one more time uh, the uh, the situation or the things that we have done before with a uh, patrol enemy game object it will be saved forever so that is the reason make a uh, patrol enemy a uh, prefab okay if you lost from this in view or hierarchy you won't able to restore it so as you can see uh, it's fine so you can speed up the animation uh, sorry working speed a little bit up so i hope you get the basics idea how you can do that okay so lastly thanks for watching this video i hope you get the idea